YouTubers, subscribers, and friends, welcome to my channel. Look how low those clouds are. It is uh, 55 degrees. It rained all night. It rained a little bit this morning. And uh, it's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm heading out to go do a hike right now. I do not have the adventure dog with me because it's going to be muddy. Look how low these clouds are. It's amazing. You can't even see the mountains now because they're just covered with clouds. Probably getting all kinds of snow on them. So, I talked to a lot of people on the interweb, on the Instagram. And I've been talking to this guy who lives in Tucson. I'm not going to say what his name is because I don't know what his name is. I never asked him what his name is. Uh, but uh, he told me about a couple cool places that I've never been. And one of them I'm going to go out and see if I can find today. Uh, it just dropped one degrees. It just dropped down to 54 degrees. But the sun is out and shining now. So I figure, what the heck, man? Let's go and check out. See if I can find this place. Uh, I got nothing else to do and I'm bored. So, come along with me and uh, see if I find it. Look at them clouds. I will say this about where I'm going is it is not in Tucson or anywhere near where I live. We're going to be going on a little road trip. Cannot even see the Santa Catalina Mountains. About to get on the freeway and I looked over and I'm like, man, these mountains just look awesome. I gotta pull over here and get this shot here. Just look at it. Do you know what mountain that is? That's some Barrel Peak right there. And that's Panther Peak. And with these clouds, it looks awesome. This mountain right over here. Got a lot of secrets in this mountain up in there. Right up in there at the top there. You guys know where that's at? That's that abandoned Frisbee Park area right there. There's a bike path that runs along the bottom of that mountain right there. But right up, right up in that shit area right there, there's a bunch of petroglyphs right in that spot right up in there. Right on them rocks right there. That not a lot of people know about. Alright, well, on with my road trip. About ready to get on to the freeway. Yeah, the ground's muddy over here. Hope this is the right spot. Do not see any cactus or anything out here. He said you'll see the mounds. There's an old Indian and some bones there. Trading spot or something like that. Look at these views of these clouds. I'm starting to see some swirls way out there. It's getting muddy. This is what I'm hiking through here. Look at this. I can't see any terrain. Just all these creosote bushes. He says I'm going in the right direction. I'm not seeing any mounds anywhere. Boy, these Hohokamini, they sure got around up. It's getting warm. Found one of the mounds. Here's uh, some pottery. Here, the set right there. They're scattered all over here. It's in the middle of nowhere. Cool. I don't know what Indians of these are from, the whole Holcombs or whatever. But uh, he told me this is like a trading place. There's a bunch of pottery right over there too. So much pottery over here. Look at this one. I don't know what Indians these are from. He didn't tell me. 
He just told me that th this place is just scattered with pottery on these mounds. It's incredible, it's everywhere. Just look at that sun. Man, the breeze makes it cold when you're standing still, but when you're walking, you get quite warm. Look at all this pottery everywhere. Shards of pottery everywhere here. It's amazing. What I found here, all by him, loads himself. Uh, I came to a different mound, and there's pottery here, but not as much. He uh, he's talking to me. He's telling me this is a Hohokam pottery here. Uh, who knows how old this stuff is? This is a much smaller hill here, though. Nice little flower. He's out here shooting out here over that way. I see another hill we're going to go to. There's pottery everywhere over here. This is not the Los Mortis area either. This is a completely different towards Phoenix area. Pottery everywhere. Man, these whole Hulkam Indians really got around. Look at that one. Some big pieces out here. Somebody's shooting out here. I should wear like a yellow vest or something so I don't get shot. About a thousand feet away from the last place I was at and here's more pottery just everywhere here. How did this pottery get scattered everywhere? That's what I'm wondering. Everywhere. Eh? Hokum Indian pottery. Big pieces. What happened was this is a Hohokam Indian village at one time. It was built, maybe back when it was built it wasn't a river, but over the thousands of years this changed to a river and it flushed out the the village and just scattered it ever because it's everywhere. There's pottery everywhere. So you got these saguaros there. And this is the river I'm walking in. That's the only way I can explain why there's pottery scattered everywhere. It doesn't matter how far you walk. You look down, look, see? See pottery. And there's pottery, and it's just scattered right over there. It's just scattered everywhere. So it must be upriver more. The main site to have this much pottery scattered everywhere. Look at that swara. It's only been a half an hour since the last time I recorded anything. Look, looks like rainstorms are coming in. I'm far from my car. I'm probably two miles from my car. I gotta turn around and start heading back to my car. My phone is dying. And uh, I'm not seeing anything else other than just pottery scattered all over the place. If anything, I'm getting a good exercise in today. Because this is hard walking in this soft wash. Look at that swirl there. It's awesome. Look at all these swirl boots. It, it never ceases to amaze me that no matter how far I go out in the desert, I always find somebody's garbage. They just dump all their garbage here. Why do people do that? Look at these mounds I found. It is definitely a river. Power of Mother Nature. Hey, back to my car. Somebody's shooting out here. I want to get away from them. Uh, they don't know I'm out here. Looks like this rain is coming though. Probably got about a 45 minute walk back to my car. No matter where I walk, I just stop and look down and there's pottery everywhere. This is one giant river. And I wouldn't want to be here when it rains and it looks like rain is coming. But uh, there's pottery right there.
told me there's a foundation out here, but I have yet to find it. I've been everywhere. I walk in for about half an hour, and I saw a bobcat running. I tried to get my camera out and chase after him, but it's too fast. He was pretty good size, maybe about the size of my dog, Josie. And then I came upon this huge mound right here. It's a big mound. And there's pottery on top of this mound, too. But not as much as the other places I found, see? It's cool to see this kind of stuff, to know that back in history, whatever, 1,500, 2,000 years ago, the Hohokam Indians were here. Right? Or if not here, they were in this area, and their pottery got washed down. But this is a huge, this is a big mound that I'm on, and there's more of them over there that I'm going to go to. That was a big bobcat, man. He was booking. He looked like a snow cat. You see that? There's something over there in the trees. See? It's moving. What is it? It's a cow. Arrgh! I don't know if it's a bull yet. His head's down. Arrgh! I saw from way over there, I just saw this dark thing moving. I thought it was a javelina at first. Go the opposite direction. Huh? These mounds. It's like a circle of mounds here. It's like a valley. I don't see any pottery on these ones. It's getting chilly been out here for about an hour and a half. I cannot find the foundation. He said there's an old ruins out here foundation. I've been everywhere. I need a drone. This would be a perfect spot for a drone. I found another mountain to... Just look at them views. Man, I hiked way out there, way. Whew. I've been walking on this thing for 20 minutes. I have been so far out there. I found so much pottery. No, I did not bring any pottery with me if anybody's wondering. I left it where it was. I just came here just to admire it and reflect on history. What the history could have been, why there's so much pottery here, what happened in this area. But look at the snow up on the Santa Catalina Mountains you can see from this distance. Yeah. I think I'm going to end the video here. So if you like these kind of videos, smash that like, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. 2019 is I'm going to try and get out to more and more new places Boy, I got a good hike in today. The cow started to chase me. I was running good thing cows don't run that fast uh, Anyways, thanks for watching get cow gone